Hello, everybody. I'm here to talk to you about my favorite hockey team, the Minnesota Wild. But in the last few days, a lot of new subscribers. We're close to 200. I appreciate and love every single one of you. It means more than you know. Love it. But a lot of you probably thinking, or maybe, I thought this guy says daily uploads. What the hell? It's been two days. Sorry, alright. I've been on a bit of a hiatus trip, vacation thing. But I'm back. Back and better than ever. Two daily uploads every single day. Maybe we'll, you know, streams, podcast, check that out, writing. We're back. We're going to get into it. But today we're going to talk hockey. And if you know, if you've ever seen any of my videos, you're probably thinking, isn't this little intro song at the beginning of all of his videos? Yeah, not anymore. Now it comes after my little intro. Like this, right now. The headphones off. Nothing really playing out of them. Nothing really ever is. Don't know why I use them. But hey, we're here to talk Kevin Fiala. Not sure what's going on. But hey, he did the wild and him just salary arbitration, wild filed for it. And yeah, in a pretty much uncommon move, the Minnesota Wild opted to file for salary arbitration. Fun, right? Just an exhilarating topic. I know. But bear with me and I'll tell you what this means. So, restricted free agent Kevin Fiala, you know, has the Minnesota Wild elected salary arbitration with forward Kevin Fiala. This salary arbitration hearing will be held between August 11th and 26th. Basically, Fiala says what he wants for money, the Wild organization say what they think he deserves. And then a guy, I don't know who, some guy, says this is what he really deserves, meet in the middle or pick one of the sides. Now, should the Wild and Fiala both er, fail to come to an agreement before August 11th, both sides will then take their cases to an arbiter, as I kind of just described, but here's its in words better than what I said. They'll take their cases to an arbiter whose decision will bind both parties to a salary value. It will be up to Fiala and his agent to decide whether or not to apply that value to a one- or two-year deal. Should Fiala accept a one-year deal, he would still be a restricted free agent in 2022 and have to go through this process again. If they go the two-year route, Fiala would become an unrestricted free agent in 23 and potentially have the opportunity to look for his next deal elsewhere. So that's pretty big. The Wild and Kevin Fiala. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. It's I, I think it's bad, and it's caused by the Wild buying out Parisian Suter and not being able to pay Kevin Fiala and Kirill Kaprizov the huge money. I mean, they're going to pay Kaprizov, I think. Hopefully, or if they don't burn the whole thing down, right? That'd be terrible. But Kevin Fiala was probably looking for, what, eight mil, seven to eight mil, and Bill Guerin, Billy G, I love the guy, trust him with my life, and starting to let me down a little. Come on, Billy. He kind of didn't want to do that, and I don't blame him. They don't have the money to do that. So, what do you do? He said, alright, we're going to go to arbitration with you. Now, that's a bit of a rough move, and it probably, here's where it gets bad. You know, it's going to save money. Sure, it's going to save some money. You won't have to pay him eight mil. But if I'm Kevin Fiala, I don't like this at all. I would rather be locked up long term, get my seven mil right now, that he's probably going to end up getting somewhere from some team in two years anyway. So, this is rough for the Wild. It's not how you keep a player happy. And for a GM that prides himself on keeping a solid locker room, keeping players happy, ridding the guys that don't provide to a salt locker room. Parisian Zuder, for example, Koivu, Stahl, etc. This is a bit of an odd move, but it makes sense given the Wild have about as much money as I have sitting at my desk right now. You know, nothing really, but yeah, it's a bit rough. It's a bit strange. But yeah, Wild news, huh? Things are going on. NBA free agency is going on right now. If anything goes on with the Wolves, which I hope something does, I'll make a video on it pretty instantly, really. Hell, something might happen while I'm recording this. I hope not. But yeah, um, back for from my trip. You know, it's weird as hell. I got a story time video I want to put out, but yeah. Fun time, fun time. Uh, check back. It's going to be like titled Kirk Cousins Ruined My Weekend or some shit. Anyways, <laughs> he didn't, but that will be the title of the video. Now I'm just rambling. Wild. Kevin Fiala. That n Not good for Kevin Fiala. Good for the wild. Not in the long term, though. Short term, sure. Then they can save up a little money. Because if you give Fiala the 8 mil a year, I mean, you're already strapped for money, but that would make it even more strapped for money. This whole situation sucks because they bought Oprizi and Suter, $15 million in dead cap. You just need to field enough players to have a hockey team. Can this team be good with $15 million dead cap down the road? I don't know. Complicated as hell. We'll see. With that daily dose of positivity from your favorite Minnesota sports channel, I don't know. What else we got? Not much. Minnesota Wild. You know, I'll get videos out one more tonight. This is going to go up at what, like 6.30? We'll see. And another one probably. Hopefully something happens in the NBA. Otherwise, podcast tomorrow. Every day this week. Because we're grinding, baby. We're getting back on it, alright? I missed a few days. Felt really weird. It did. I'm addicted to this shit, so we're going to keep going. But for now, peace.